What's your relationship like with Little Dirk? That's my man's. All of us got good relationships. We ain't got no other relationships like anyone else could call each other and chop it up. I call any one of them and chop it up. I ain't got no bad relationship with nobody. Don't nobody got no bad relationship with me. Yeah, I, I thought I'd give you the chance to clear it up because I know. I, I mean, I wasn't even going to bring it up, but it was in the news recently mm -hmm. where, like, I, I don't know, there was a rumor that you, you choked him out in the club or something back in the day. That shit fake. That shit false. That shit came from a hating ass op. That shit fake. Never, ever, never. Okay. And uh, how'd you meet Little Dirk? I mean, shit. Same? Like, we all, was, we all from the same hood. Like, Dirk came to the hood. And shit, that's when we all start with each other and shit. What was it like just, you know, them early days on I mean, Lamron, man, just hanging out? Shit, that's what made us who we is right now. All us, like, them early days made us who we is right now. That's why, I mean, shit, we still got love for each other. Ain't no fake love or none of that shit. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I mean, you know, a lot, of, a lot of you guys, you know what I'm saying, became from Lamron, you know, you know, a lot of you guys became, you know, real popular, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Got famous. You know, would you guys just uh, be hanging out in the street, you know, walking up and down, you know, just chilling now, with we the used to just be, or We used to just be on the block and shit. Be, bullshitting? Yeah, bullshitting around. Weed. Go to the studio here and there and then. We, we put in that work, I ain't gonna lie. Like, we used to go to the studio here and there and then, like, but we still put in that work at the end of the day. Like, it wasn't no fly, fly over night shit for us. Uh, what age did you start rapping? What age? I think I was like, I, I was really 10 years old in the Cayman building when I first started rapping. I made my first song. Yeah, but then I ain't really take it serious until me and Sosa don't really got on. But I was like 10 years old when I first made my first track type shit, when I first made my track. Sosa gets on and that's when you go, okay. Like, fuck it. But yeah. then you you had a deal before that though, kind of, right? No, we ain't never had no deal, no shit like that. You didn't have no deal, okay. Chief Keith gets on mm -hmm. and now you're you're inspired to, to you know to go saying? hard, to, to like, go fuck hard. It. Like, see, yeah, it's opportunity. I couldn't miss it. I mean, like, if your homie around you, like, say, if it's you with a nigga here today, and he get on. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. going to be easy for you to get on. He going to be able to just take, take you with him, man. It ain't even taking you with him. Because he ain't take me with him. Like, I had to get on for myself. Like, he ain't. Chief Keith didn't help me get on this. I had to get on for myself. I had to put the work in for myself. So basically, I was around the shit. I had to put the work in. Like, that's how it was. He didn't help me get on the shit. I got my own deal. I got a deal before him. And and so you get your first deal, and you know that must have been super motivating. But you're still in the streets though. Mm -hmm. Man, I, I've uh, seen a lot of rappers say, man, that it's it's really hard. To have one foot in the streets and one foot in the music business. It ain't hard. That yeah. shit, that's basically your lifestyle. It ain't even hard at all. Well, that was my lifestyle. It ain't a lot of rappers' lifestyle. I don't know what to talk about. It wasn't, it wasn't difficult for you? No, it wasn't difficult for me to be in the streets and rap. That's what I chose, so that's what I was doing. At what point did you realize, like, yo, this, like, this is taking off? Was it like, I, the, uh, I don't like song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I ain't gonna lie, that shit did so many views in, in, in the day. I'm like, damn, this song finna really blow up. I ain't never had no song that was moving quick like that. I'm like, damn, this song finna really blow up. I'm like, damn, we might finna be on. Shit, next thing I know, Kanye West got on the remix. I, they, you just tweeted about that and recently, look, and right? They, and, they, and they like took me off the song. Someone's like, Kanye and them took me off the song. I wasn't mad or nothing. I just was like, I killed that shit. So I'm like, I wasn't mad. I'm like, I know I killed that shit. I'm on um, motherfuckers gonna really see, like, they gonna see what's going on. So when they took me off the song and shit, they probably thought like, it means somebody really helped. That shit probably helped more than ever, them taking me off the song. Cause the song ended up still going platinum and all type of shit. Like I got a plaque for the song. I got a platinum plaque for the song. Like, Sold over like 500,000 records and shit like that. I'm good off that shit. I ain't, I wasn't really tripping. I just would talk shit here and there and then, but I don't really care. Like, I'm taking me off the song, because I ended up getting my own song with Drake and Rose. I put them on my song, so I wasn't really mad. I ain't really care. 
I'll talk shit in there and then, but I ain't really care. I, yeah, I don't know why he would have took you off, man. At uh, you know, I was kind of surprised when I heard that. I didn't know, but uh, I mean, I guess it worked out for you anyway, though, right? I mean, mm-hmm. you know, you ended up still. I mean, just because you know, from the original and the work you've been putting in and everything, you know, you still ended up getting a song with Drake, Ross, Jeezy, Twist, all type of motherfucker. How was how was that like working with them? I mean, shit, it was a learning experience. Shit, I know so much right now in the game about just fucking with all them type of people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, especially now. I mean, Drake, he's the biggest, you know. Ross. Ross. Jeez, you know. All these niggas. Yeah. And, man, what did your homies think, man, when all this started going on, man? You know, <laughs> they didn't, you know. A lot of my homies couldn't take it. Like, they ain't know what to do or, like, how to face it. Because they, they still was thinking I was still the same little Reese, but I want, they had to realize and they had to face it like I'm not. This ain't our same homie from a few months ago. He's shit popular, different. Rich. Shit different. Shit different. Shit different. Family looking at you different. All type of shit. No way. How did your family accept your uh, you blowing up? I don't know. They still can't face the fact like I'm I'm not the same shorty I once was. Yeah. They still trying to figure it out. Even after all this time, <laughs> man, that's crazy, man. Yeah, it, uh, I've heard it could be tough. Yeah, you know, working through the the dynamics of everything. Mm-hmm. 